Hello everyone, I'm This Old Man, and welcome to my third video about building out the skill tree. In this video it's about advanced taming. Here we're going to focus on the uh, advanced taming skill sets, uh, really taming tier 3 animals. That includes the bear, uh, not the bear, the rhino and the elephant. Uh, so you should already have the bear by this point. Boris is here beside me, uh, keeping me company on this video. Uh, but now what you're going to want to do is go get an elephant who's going to help you mine wood and a rhino who's going to help you mine stone, flint, and metal. Tier 3 saddles will be needed for these animals and the organic wood paste is the, the probably the biggest challenge you have if you haven't already found sugars uh, to mix with fibers and a little bit of metal to, to build out these, uh, these saddles for tier three. Let's jump into the skill tree. We left off the last video at level 13. Skills, we've gone through riding tier one, commands, taming, all the way to riding tier two and, and taming tier two. We also grabbed taming efficiency, which improved the, the taming. Now we're going to go up a level, and here's where you're going to need a, a different tool for, for taming. So we're going to go up that level, and now you might want to start selecting a little bit of fortitude as you go up in levels. If your stamina isn't where you would like it, weight, we can get around 460, so we'll do the first one into weight. Um, or if you feel that you, you, you need a little bit more health, this is where you, you can start choosing between these three. You do have a bear, so the, the weight becomes less important now. You're, you're going to be using him to pack most of the equipment or resources back uh, to the base when you go out with your bear. So we've gone up a level, and now we want to go to improve taming, and we want to get riding tier three. Improve taming if you haven't already got enough chickens or cows or bears, this is going to help you with your skill set. So I'm going to grab this one now, and then we're going to go up another level. And I'm going to go to stamina, and what I should have done the last one is actually jump over here, grab archery, jump in the archery and grab the basics of the bow. This is going to allow you to, to stand back and and hit the bear instead of going coming up with the spear and trying to hitting him and, and getting close to him to knock him down. With the rest of the points, we'll save those and we'll sit, uh, save them to get riding tier three next. Is there anything holding us up from getting that? Don't oh. We'll need commands tier two. So let's go up. We're going to choose health. Grab commands tier two. Now we should have everything we need. No, we'll need breeding tier two. We're going to go up a level. Fortitude. Breeding tier two, two points left. Now we have everything we need to go to riding tier three. We'll go up again in stamina. Don't quite have enough points yet to get riding tier three, so we're gonna have to go up another level. We'll put it to health. And now we can get riding tier three. Taming tier 3 is right here, needs another 8 points, we'll have to go up one more level here. Put it to health, taming tier 3, now we can go out and find the uh, rhino and the elephant and tame them. I have videos on both, for the rhino I use a pen, for taming the elephant I just use a bear both those videos explain it a little bit more in depth. Well, 
last one we want to get here is this commands tier three. So once you are on them, you can whistle them over and, and guide them. And then you could go further if you wanted to stay in taming, if you're teamed up with other people and go in advanced proficiency, you could tame even faster. But as a solo, I felt that this brought me far enough to get to the animals that, that I needed. So we'll go up in health. Does that give us the points? I don't believe it will. Yeah, we need eight in total, so we're going to go up one more to level 22. We'll put it to health. Commands tier 3. Now you have everything you need to go out and tame an elephant and a rhino. Command them. You can build the saddles back at, at your tannery. And then when you're done, not only will you have this lovely bear hanging out with you to help protect you, but you'll also have a rhino and an elephant. I'll show you the elephant first. They're not speed demons, but you just walk up the trees at this point and have them attack. Go into the inventory, and there they've collected wood and thatch for us. The rhino works similar. You can uh, go to a single rock and just put an attack in, and it collects slate and radiolite from that wood. Or you can use its charge attack, where you build it up and it attack, and it'll typically do much more damage and bring in a lot more rock and flint for you. Uh, same if you find metal, uh, a deposit of metal, you can mine it the same way. The only disadvantage of mining rock with a rhino is if you do it by hand, sometimes you find metal in them. If you do it with the rhino, you don't typically... I've never got metal out of the, the rock that it mines. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. You should be now able to get yourself a, a rhino an elephant and a bear. The bear again is for fiber, collecting fiber and thatch does a great job. The rhino does a great job with flint, stone, and metal. And the elephant here does a, a fantastic job of collecting the wood. With these three animals I was able to collect enough wood, metal, fiber, and thatch to build out uh, both a brigantine and a gallon quite quickly. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.